There's a fish, there's a fish, yep, oh yeah, all right, good morning folks, it's July 16, 2022, I'm on the Osage Arm of Truman Lake, it's, what is it, 7.30 in the morning, going to do a little long line drifting. We got into about seven or 12 feet of water and got hooked up. I started back in the back of a little pocket here and working my way out. Before I got started, I turned on my Minn Kota eye pilot and laid down a track or trail, whatever you call it, that I want to follow going all the way out of this. And so I came back in here and started and Turned it on, look at there, I think that's a flathead. I'll be dang, sure is. Yes sir, nice little flathead. Ha! I didn't expect to catch a flathead. But I'll sure take it, I was on a piece of cut bait. Let me get my grippers. Ah, quit now. All right, good, nice little flathead. Get that back in there. See that folks, look? Well, those are great looking fish, aren't they? Let's see, that little old fish is right at 20, Two inches long. Nice little pretty fish. Not keeping any fish. Let her go. That was on a pretty good size headpiece. I got some fresh shad I caught uh, last night. I've had them in the tank overnight. They did pretty good. I'm going to use them up. I've got some uh, frozen ones, but I'm going to use the fresh. Let's do that again. If they want a headpiece, I'll give them a headpiece. That's a pretty good sized piece of bait there. As I always do with my crankbaits, I'm going to rotate these rods. I'm going to cast this one out to the side so I don't have any line problems. Run my outside ones at 125 feet and my inside ones at 150. So I'm going to rotate them. I'm going to let this one out to 150. I'll stop this one over here at 125. I'm only running about 0 .4, 0 0.5 miles per hour, so I kind of help hand line it out. That didn't take very long. We just got started. I'm using the 80 pound K9 braid on my main line. Using the Santee Cooper rig on my leader 80 pound triple fish mono i've got demon dragons on two of them and just uh, foam floats on the other two 
Oh, there's a fish. Man, he took it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That feels like a little better fish. I don't know. Good takedown, though. Oh, he's coming right at me. Running right at the boat. He's still there. Little blue on the old demon dragon. Same setup, caught the flathead. Oh, that's a nice fish there. Nice little keeper fish. Oh, oh, got one there too. Is he still there? Quit now. Open your mouth. Come on, open your mouth. Oh man, I can't hardly get my little hands around him. He doesn't want to open his mouth. Boy, he took it. Got it good. Yeah. Nice little blue. Let's see. That fish is 24 and a quarter inches long. Thank you. Boom. Okay, folks, we got out here in this deeper water. Seems like after we got over 20 feet deep, nothing. I mean nothing. Nothing on the suspend rigs, nothing on the bottom. Not seeing a whole lot of fish. So the rest of this uh, track is deeper than 20 feet. I'm gonna pull up, make a move. Okay, folks, we're going with the wind. I've got my power poles down. The wind's blowing pretty good, but with the power poles down, it's holding us at about 0.7. Woo, showing a lot of shad and a lot of fish right in here. We dropped down to 16 feet of water. Went over kind of a little hump. Should get bit here. Yep. Come on. There you go. Yep. Ah, draft does not lie. There he is, old one eye again. One eye on these fish. Quit. All right. Old George Young. Junior B and M hook got him. There you go. See ya. Oh, there's a fish. Oh yeah. Oh. He hit it. fish he took it good oh, that's a pretty decent fish not a bad fish 
I think I'm gonna have to have a net for this one. Uh oh. All right, got him. All right, there you go. That's not a bad little fish. Yeah. Okay. Easy now. Easy now. Nice little fish. See how long he is. That fish is 27 inches long. He's in the slot. Could not keep that fish if you were inclined to keep some fish. See what it weighs. Just for the fun of it. Boy, he's pooping everywhere. All over me. That fish weighs seven seven. Lucky sevens. Seven pounds, seven ounces. There you go, thank you. Oh, scale's not wanting to work very well. Oh! Man, I'm sitting here messing with my scale and got a fish about to run off with my rod. Come on now. Uh-oh, he just came off. That gummit. I gotta pay attention. How'd he come off? He tightened down my rod holder, don't I? Okay. Let's regroup. We might just sit here for a minute. It seemed like the drifting bite just kind of quit on me. So I pulled in here on this bank. I've caught some fish here before. I grafted a few fish coming in. So I just pulled up on the shore, put them out. See if we can get a couple more bites in here. There you go, middle one. There you go. Oh. Yeah, he's there. Well, I thought he'd let it go there for a minute. A few fish right here in this pocket. He won't require a net. Use the old B and M Silver Cat Magnum and just hoist him over the edge. Tough rods. Man, he wasn't getting away. Mm, there it is. There it is. Little blue cat. Okay, folks, it's 12.40. Hadn't had a bite in a while. I'm going to call it a day and go to the house. Got some other things to do. Thinking about putting my crankbait rods in here and coming out and trying to catch a few crappie crankbaiting. We'll see how energetic I get. At any rate, we caught a few catfish, had some fun, experimented around a little bit, did some things today that I don't always do, but uh, I think I learned a few things. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for always supporting my channel. And uh, if you like the videos, I hope you'll subscribe, hit the bell, 
you know the drill. I won't keep saying it. Well, I probably will. But at any rate, thanks for being with me.